Can we begin, uh, Ash, just by asking? I mean, you, you've said before that you, the, the Nighting Girls, are filming that you love so much, you're so happy to talk about it, so I'm going to exploit that fact. Okay. To ask you more questions about it. But you said, you know, 52 days out of 54 was on the location. I mean, it, it must have been an incredibly sort of uplifting and amazing shoot in many ways, but at the same time, a very grueling one. Uh, how did it feel when it all sort of came to an end? Everyone cried on the last day of uh, shooting. I had a couple of pickups to do um, about a week or two after that, and honestly, I actually just felt so empty. I was spent. I, I had promised Jennifer everything, and I, I gave her everything. It was emotionally very demanding. It was physically really demanding. We were on tough locations, as you say. Um, and yes, massively rewarding. I made friends for life, and I, I, it was a, such a special experience, but I was absolutely drained in every way um, by the time I finished. And how, how was it working with Jennifer? I mean, she's one of the most kind of interesting voices in, in the cinema at the moment. I mean, it must have been such a, a thrill at this stage in his career to collaborate that closely. I know, I'm so lucky. She's really inspirational, I have to say. She is so committed to truth, authenticity, and they're the things that really resonate with me. Um, and just watching her as well, just be so uncompromising on the things that shouldn't be compromised on. You know, she's so, um, she's really on your side as the actor. She wants the performance to be the best it can be. And so you know that when she finally, after pushing and pushing and pushing, says that she's happy, she's happy because she doesn't stop at anything less than that. And I mean, you've obviously, considering you've done some TV and film and stuff like that, I mean, Game of Thrones marks one of your shortest, I guess, roles <laughs> you've had to do. Uh, but at the same time, I mean, obviously Jason brought it up and uh, mentioned it, and I'm assuming a few people have probably asked you Game of Thrones. But, um, yeah, what's that like? It must be quite odd in some ways that the, one of your smallest roles is one that gets people talking the most and stuff. But at the same time, even though it must be quite odd, it must be quite nice that you have made something that does seem to just resonate with so many people, so many people want to speak to you. Look, it's always great being a part of something that's so beloved, you know. Um, I'm really glad that they cast me, it was really cool, and yes, it is the smallest part I've played, so it's quite funny to me that that's what people ask me about most, but at the same time, I realise that it just has such a huge reach and people are so invested in it that, um, yeah, it was really exciting. It was, And also, it was maximum exposure for minimum time, because obviously, they talked about Liana from literally, like, episode one, <laughs> um, and then finally, you know, I got the two minutes there, or whatever yeah. it was. Yeah, because I mean, it's one of the most important parts in the whole Game of Thrones <laughs> universe. Like, it's almost maybe the most important. Yeah, it's like just come in, drop the mic on the spoiler, and then yeah. leave. Yeah, you're the most important person in the whole of Game of Thrones. Thank you. Yeah. Yes, I think so. Yeah. Um, and regards, I mean, obviously, you know, we've spoken about this before, but what, what does it mean to you now? You're here, and you're sort of a day in uh, to be a shooting star and to be here in this environment. Yeah. It feels really, really special. I'm very proud to be flying the Irish flag. Um, and uh, yeah, just hanging out with these actors is it's so lovely, you know, I really feel like they're doing this job for the same reasons that I am and I like to, in a biased way, think that they're the right reasons, you know, they do it for the love of it, the, the need to satisfy a creative impulse and um, yeah, it's, it's just wonderful and it's a great way to be at Berlin Alley for the first time. Because I mean, Europe at the moment, it's, it's, it's quite an interesting time because obviously there's been this kind of rise of kind of right-wing politics and obviously with Brexit going on at the same time. And you're sort of here today and we're sort of seeing all these movies in different cultures, different parts of the pockets of Europe. And it shows that we're all the same and we're all, we all feel the same emotions and we all, we all find the same things funny or we all get upset yeah. by the same things. I mean, has that been one of the kind of overwhelming things when you're around all of these sort of creative people from all these different sort of countries that... Europe is a very small place in many ways. We're all very small. I think the world connected. is very small in many ways. You know, I mean, that's saying we read to know we're not alone. I think it's the same with film, um, with storytelling of any kind. And it's why we do it, I think. Even if it's on a more superficial level, really what we're always trying to do is kind of find the common truths, you know? And, and I think that when people respond to them, it's usually because you've, you've hit on something, you know? I mean, a lot of the people we've spoken to today have said they want to sort of try and make movies in other languages and move to different sort of parts of the world. Me too. Yeah. yeah, I was wondering, because obviously that's a thing that often, you know, we're speaking to an actor from Macedonia, he would love to come to the UK and make a yeah. movie, but is that, does it work both ways? Are you interested in making films in France, and Germany, Italy, and places Definitely. Like obviously, particularly Italy, because I'm half Italian, so I feel quite connected yeah, to that. Um, yes. <laughs> um, but yeah, I study French and Spanish, um, and I, I, I would love to act in those languages. I find languages fascinating anyway, but to me, getting the opportunity to add an extra layer to a character is just so cool, and also because even within a language, they all have their own little quirks and characteristics. So yeah, I would, I would really love to. And I was sitting in at the back of the room yesterday when you guys were going through your schedule, and it's it's quite tough, isn't it? I mean, even though it's obviously an incredible, quite surreal, and I'm assuming quite overwhelming experience in many ways, there's a lot 
to do here is, I mean, w w how are you treating these next sort of three days here or this whole experience? I mean, obviously there's the celebratory aspect where you're picking up an award and stuff like that, but there is work involved, isn't it? You know, sort of meetings. And I'm going to work like it. That. <laughs> <laughs> um, that was so cheesy. Anyway, sorry. Um, yeah, no, I'm basically taking full advantage. Uh, it's so rare to get to talk to industry professionals one on one, get to talk with actors like this one on one. Um, and I'm really, truly, it would be stupid not to take advantage of that, to ask questions, to find out more, you know, even in the case of, say, A.B. Kaufman, like, not to ask, you know, what do you look for in a self tape or what do you, you know, these are all questions that help me going forward. And I, networking is one of my favorite, not my favorite aspect, but I, I, I like chatting to people, I like making connections. So um, I'm going to do a lot of that this weekend, I think. Thanks so, much for Thanks so much. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey You Guys, huh? Is that from the Goonies? Nice. Hey!